Yo, what's up, Yodi gang? This is the, the, the episode of how to win literally, and I'm not joking, every single Tower Battles game. The only thing that me and my friend have found that counters this is the Golden Commando. And even then, that guy was working miracles, the guy who had it. So, what you want to do is you want to have mortar, you want to have jeep, you want to have farms, right? One of you has the mortar. One of you has the farms and jeeps. I'm the guy with the farms and jeeps. And today we're going to be explaining the strategy. But so far, it's really hard to lose. I will say that. Our biggest counter to this strategy is people leaving early before we even get to play. That's how good it is. It's just so amazing. So here we go, guys. About to answer the game. My friend's AFK here, but he'll be here. So here we go. I have the Jeeps and Farms. You want to place a farm. You see how it says Battle Begins in 11? You want to place that before. You want to upgrade it once, and you'll get a free 100 bucks before the battle starts. Uh, it's always good to do that. Now, you can kind of just ignore me having Commando and Soldier and Zed. That doesn't really matter. What really matters is Farm and Jeep. That's all you got to have. So my friend is probably going to put a Mortar right here where I'm standing. So they can see the map. The mortar will deal with most of the AOE. It's actually just an amazing tower. He's not placing down a farm right now. Because you don't want to farm early. You want to be able to put the mortar down. So. Put the mortar down. And a jeep down. You just chill out. It's easy. So I just got my 400 bucks. Place it down. Doesn't really matter where you place it down. It's the Jeep. It's actually called Patrol. But it's the Jeep as far as I'm concerned. Um, so as you can see here, we are chilling. My friend's not back yet. Usually the mortar would be down. But it's all good. It's all good. The mortar's down right now. There it is. So yeah, you're going you're gonna to up upgrade the Jeep to Suicide Mission. Right? So all you got to do is you just place the farm, get it to level 2. You upgrade the Jeep to suicide mission. My friend is just going to be placing down the mortar, upgrading the mortar. It's really simple. But at some point, you want to just stop and save up some coins. Now, you may, may be asking, why would I save up coins? You're about to see. So, in just a second, I'm going to buy the third upgrade for the Jeep. Uh, the Jeep's really good at taking out some some things that are, like, wandering. Um, it's really nice to have it, especially if, oh, no, there's there's a bunch of things near the edge. Jeep comes out, saves everything, right? But uh, once you get the explosive Jeep, it's really, really good because it takes out waves of enemies. Now, the mortar does do that already, but the mortar is just making sure that the normals and all these zombies don't get too far back. So, yeah. So, uh, right now we're just saving money. Uh, you don't even want to upgrade your farm. It's actually not worth it because you're going to be ending this game quickly and swiftly. It's going to be amazing how fast this game has gone. So, we're going to go check on the enemy team real quick. Like their defenses are okay at best um so the strategy, strategy is still gonna work only thing we've lost against is a golden commando that is it only thing so we're just gonna wait until wave nine now on wave nine what you want to be doing you want to be spending all this hard-earned cash on bosses Yeah, I know it's it's a little scummy. You know, it's a little scummy to be sending and doing all this weird stuff. I get it. But if you want a lot of wins, who cares if you hurt some people's feelings, right? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that dub, that trophy. You feel me? The only thing that matters. Yeah. We're going to be waiting. It's almost wave nine. 
boom, the mortar's hitting stuff. Oh, it looks like they have an uh, anarchist. That's a little cool. Right, you can see because they have an android. Uh, anarchist is honestly not very good at defending, so it doesn't really matter that they have an anarchist. It actually doesn't matter what power they have as long as it's not golden commando. So on this turn, we're going to spend all of our money on bosses. We're going to send five bosses. Now, in the circumstance that they have certain towers, like, per se, the jeep, you want to follow up these bosses with speedies. Now, the reason why is because the speedies can try and take out and murder the jeep before the jeep actually gets to the bosses. Now, they do have fraggers and anarchists. So it's, it's going to be a little bit weird, but you want to swarm them. You want to make sure that they don't catch a break. So, as you can see, they're already kind of getting past. There's some bosses that are getting past right now. They have hundreds of health. It would take two, maybe three jeeps in order to take these guys out. And it, this strategy honestly destroys jeeps. It just chunks them down like it's like nobody's business. As you can see, they're actually starting to have a really hard time here. Some speedies are getting through. Um, in this particular circumstance, I'm going to stop sending speedies. But, uh, I'm not even worried about our side. Because look at our side right now. Absolutely chilling. Now this may seem scary, but it's not. One jeep takes all of this out. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not worried about it at all. A jeep that comes in one second, literally taking all of that out. Not worried. Now let's look at their side. They're struggling, right? The strategy is too strong. Look, one jeep taking it all out. Like I said. And my friend, I, I think my friend only has a level one. Oh, it's a level three. Okay, so you want to just upgrade the mortar, but. Yeah, so you can see the bosses are getting really far, and they all have over 100 health. This is not something that's easy to deal with at all. And, um, yeah, you just want to do this. And if you really want to put some oil to the flame, you can place some sweeties. They do have a commando. This is a little bit scary, actually. Two commandos. That's even scarier. But I'm actually not worried. Believe it or not, not worried. As you can see, the commandos are hitting the first one. They're placing down jeeps. They're trying their best right now. One boss has made it through. The next one's about to make it through. And it is game over. Too simple. That's all you have to do to win every single game of Tower Battles. So welcome to the winner's course. Take that W. Take that flag. GG. I'm going to tell these guys to get better. Because now... They don't understand the strat. All right, that's the video.